My name's uh, Bill McDonald, Dr. Bill McDonald. I'm a nuclear medicine physician and I've been working with NETS patients for 23 years now uh, since I commenced at Fremantle Hospital. My name's Dr. David Ransom. I'm a medical oncologist and I've been working with NET tumours for approximately 20 years. You know, the epidemiology studies show that NET tumours are increasing in incidence in all Western countries. And uh, the reason for that, nobody's really quite sure, but certainly over the last 30 years, the incidence of NET tumours per 100,000 of population is increasing. NET tumours often secrete hormones called serotonin and that happens in about half the patients and that gives you symptoms of flushing and diarrhea. Now the problem with those symptoms are that they're quite common and there's lots of causes of diarrhea. So typically in with net tumours the diarrhea is watery and so that can sometimes give you a clue. And flushing is a very common symptom as well. And what differentiates carcinoid flushing from flushing due to menopause is that in menopause, the flushing is generally associated with severe sweating. But in carcinoids, the sweating is, the flushes are dry. Alcohol is a common trigger for flushing episodes. And so we all, get a bit red and boisterous when we drink alcohol and net patients may get even more so. Another common uh, symptom of net tumours is abdominal pain, sometimes with weight loss and lots of people have abdominal pain and uh, when net patients go to their doctors with abdominal pain it's often confused with other illnesses such as irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, or indigestion uh, and so it can take a while for the penny to drop and it may not be until the patient's losing weight uh, and it's clear that something more than just irritable bowel syndrome is wrong uh, that further tests are done and the diagnosis is made. So I don't think the symptoms come and go as such. I think they're there all the time but they vary in severity and so patients will have days when they're not being troubled much by their symptoms and other days where they're really troubled a lot.